The question is, can we use line-based family with chain option? Chain option is to draw continues lines. When you use a line in rivet, you can activate the chain checkbox. These lines will act like one object. Now, what is line-based family? It is a generic family which depends on a line, or we shall say, a path. Let's start a new generic line-based family and see how it works. If we draw a model line here between these two reference plans in order to be attached to them and then load the family in the project, then we can use the same function of the chain model line but with a family. However, the line-based family is originally used to create a sort of sweep profile in order to be drawn in the project, not just a chain of lines. Now, let's go back to the family and add a sweep. Pick a path, based on the reference line. Then draw a profile. We will make it simple, but you can draw any profile you want. Let's see what we have here. And make a test to get sure it is working properly. It seems fine. Now, we will load the family into the project to find the answer. The answer is yes and no. Yes, because the chain option is existing and we can select the lines as one object. But no, because obviously the connections are not proper, clearly not satisfying. As per my knowledge, there is no any simple solution to properly join these corners. But the good news that there is quite complicated solution. Let's figure out how it works. We have to add some parameters in this family. The method is to add cutouts here to cut the corner whenever we need this. We will add a void extrusion in the corner. And now we need to know that when we draw this profile, we must draw it based on this side of the family then we must make the cutout direction like this. Let's add another one here also, with 45 degrees so far. Just make sure that the void is wider than the profile, also the height of the void must cover the height of the family. Now, we have these two voids in the start and end which will allow us to make the chain corners properly. Let's load the family. And it seems fine. Everything seems fine so far. But there are two problems right now. What if we need to draw L-shape instead of rectangle? And this is not the major problem. The real one is what if the angle between these lines are not 90 degrees? What if we need to draw more free forms? Then we need to add more parameters to solve both problems. Let's jump into the family again and add some enhancements. To solve the first problem, it is easy. We can add a parameter to the void even to cut or not as desired. We will assume that this is cutout number one and this is number two. Fortunately, in Rivet 2022, there is an option to make a parameter for voids whether to cut or not. When it comes to the name of the parameter, it is very important not to use the dash symbol. We must use the underscore symbol, because Rivet considers the dash as minus and get confused when you involve the name in a formula. Later, we will see that but for now just use the underscore. Not to mention that all the parameters we will create in this family will be instance parameters. Now let's load and test the solution of the first problem. We need to cancel the cut from here and keep it here, yet we cannot detect which side is cut 1 or cut 2, but later we will solve this issue, now we will estimate which one is 1 or 2. And now this is what we want. In order to facilitate the choice of corner 1 and 2, we will just add control commands, we use these commands to mirror the model easier, but also, they are always found beside corner 1. And now let's move to solve the major problem number two, which is the connection various angles. What if we need varieties of connection angles?
let's say 150 degrees. Here is the problem. Again, the connection gets corrupted. Can we add an angular parameter to our cutout void? Yes, we can, although it is quite complicated, but it is applicable. Here let's select our void and add an angle parameter, which is 45 degrees because our required connection angle is 90 degrees so far. We will call it angle number one Add the same to the other void and call it angle number two. Let's make a test. 15 degrees is working. 60 degrees is also working. Of course, these values must be more than zero, less than 90 because otherwise the void will not be triangle anymore. And the family will crash. This is not the only problem. But furthermore, when we go for more tests, we will notice that the void will get corrupted too. This is because the baseline of the void triangle is movable. We must fix it to keep the void working properly regardless of the values we choose for the angle. Let's fix it by adding a dimension to the line with the reference plan and lock it. We will do the same for the other void. Now let's make our tests again. 45, 20, 89. Of course, 89 is very sharp, but it is still working as long as we didn't reach 90 degrees. Now, let's load back the family into the project to see what we did. And please keep in mind that when you create a new parameter to a family, then load it into a project the parameter value you loaded will be always the default forever. So, take care to set up the desired default value for each parameter before loading the family in the project. This is very important and may cause a lot of problems if you didn't determine what you need. And back to the line-based family we loaded. Now this angle is 150. We need to calculate the angle value to get the proper connection. And it is very difficult and not practical to do these calculations for each connection of each segment we draw. So, let's make it easier, more efficient and precise. We need to figure out the calculation method to design a formula which make it automatically. We will divide the desired angle by 2, which is 150 in this case, and then subtract from 90 degrees. The result is 15 degrees, and this is correct. Let's apply this formula into our family. Let's create here another parameter which is not associated to any dimension. We want to call it connection angle one but it will be very hard to type this name many times in the formulas, so we will keep it short for now, and rename it after we finish ever. Let's name it CA1. Let's sort it under Construction tab. It is an angle parameter not length. Here is the input to set the connection angle which we required. And here, we will add the formula we designed. We will copy it here and change CA1 to be CA2. For organizing purposes, we always put the non-input parameters in other tab. 
to keep it down far from our sights, and the values we use as inputs we prefer to keep it up in a logical tab to be exposed when using the family. Now, the formula is ready to be tested. Remember to set the default value before loading the family into the project. Now, all we have to do is to add the value of the connection angle we need in the correct cut side. The connection angle is 150 degrees. Until now, we have to activate the cutting void manually. So we will activate the cut voids to apply the connection angle parameter. To make the family more luxurious, we need to decrease the inputs we enter. Let's upgrade the family to automatically turn on and off the cutouts whenever it is necessary. Let's say that whenever we have a connection angle value of zero, then we don't need any cutouts. Otherwise, if the value is any other, then the cutouts get activated in related to the side which is having the value. Though, we will only control two parameters rather than four. And all we will need then is to decide the connection angles and the family will do the rest. Looks interesting? Let's see how this can be done. We need to design a formula says, if the connection angle equals zero, then the cutout is off, otherwise cutout is on. Keep in mind that until now, the family will not accept a connection angle of zero or 180, but we will fix this after a while. Here, we type if CA1 equals zero, then what? Here we need to translate on and off. Rivet understands only true or false values, not on and off. We cannot put true or false also, but instead we write a logical true information, or a logical false information. So, now we say if CA1 equals zero, then one is more than two, which means false or turn off. Otherwise, one less than two, which means true, or turn on. Again, we copy this formula in the other angle. We just rename the CA1 to be two. Let's solve the problem of zero. And it happens because when we put 0 or 180, the formula of the angle expects to divide 0 by 2, and this is mathematically impossible. So, let's update the angle's formulas to avoid this problem. Simply we need to say, if connection angle is 0, then don't follow it, just use any other logical angle. Otherwise, just use the original formula we prepared. We will type, if CA1 equals 0, then 45, otherwise, we will keep the old formula. The 45 we put, will not affect anything, because it is only used when connection angle equals 0. Then, and according to what we just did from a while, when the connection angle equals 0, there will be no cutout, it will be turned off. So, 45 is just a logical value prevents the family from crashing and any other value will do the same job. Keep in mind that the brackets must be balanced. Right brackets must equal the left brackets. Now we almost have all what we need. Let's make some tests. We will draw a rectangle and select all. Put 90 for both corners. Let's draw another shape, and determine the angle. Give the value of the connections 1 and 2, and we will deactivate the cutout for the other corners. Finally, we will rename the connection angle parameter to keep it obvious and clear for use by anyone. And Rivet is smart enough to understand the new name of the parameters and apply them in all the formulas which are involved in. Just keep in mind that when we rename a parameter and load the family into the project, the value of the renamed parameters will be reset to the default value as we mentioned earlier. So again, we need to set the default values before loading the family because we renamed these parameters. Problem solved. And it was a pleasure. Thank you.